finally, almost everything we need to know about Wrath of the Lich King has been revealed. Maybe I'm a bit late to the party, but here we are going through the information with you guys. There's been some developments on a couple of points, so let's get right into it. So Blizzard came out last night and announced a lot of things such as the pre-patch date, the zombie plague, the scourge invasion and so on. And uh, it's confirmed 30th of August, we're going to get the pre-patch, including the fresh servers, the ability to create a DK and uh, the new profession inscription with a lot of other changes such as probably the talent revamp and uh, so much more. Uh, maybe the nerf of dungeons, I think Sunwell will receive a nerf. I've seen some people doing Sunwell on the PTR, it's so easy now. As the bosses get an overall, I think 25% HP nerf. And as well, the classes are able to pump more and more damage. To the point where uh, Sunwell is probably going to be puggable. But that's just me. Another thing they haven't announced yet, it's the name of the realms or how many they're going to release. But I'm pretty sure this is going to shortly follow. The next couple of days, we're going to figure out exactly how many uh, fresh servers we'll have. And how many of them will be PvP and PvE. So 30th of August, I'm so happy that they finally announced it. So now people can make plans and we can move on with it. Uh, on September 6th uh, till September 13, the zombie plague event is going to uh, take place. If you haven't done it back in uh, 2008, now is a chance to experience for the first time. I don't know many things about it, but I think it's going to be fun <laughs> dying in major capital uh, cities and so on, spreading the plague. Maybe that's not something I should say on YouTube. On September 13, all the way until launch, there's going to be the Scourge Invasion event, which will give us like uh, two weeks to be able to complete the Scourge Invasion event and man manage to get a couple of uh, epic piece set bonuses, which are equivalent to about tier 5 or maybe more. The the sets usually have like your main stat. Like for example, the, the caster one had like Spirit, Intellect, Stamina, Haste, and uh, maybe something else. Uh, a set bonus of damage versus Undead, which is going to be very useful to level up from uh, 70 to 80. So if you have a fresh alt that is level 80, you're going to be able to get your hands on a couple of uh, pieces of gear to help you level either in dungeons or by doing quests. And that's a plane right there. Yep. On September 20 to October 6, the Brewfest will begin, the Brewfest event. And as you know from Burning Crusade, the Brewfest event will have like a lot of great items, such as trinkets that are the equivalent ones to the Badges of Justice, the 41 Badges of Justice. In Wrath of the Lich King, it should be the same. Uh, they should have the trinkets for level 80 that will cost 40 emblems of uh, heroism, I think. Unfortunately, it's been confirmed by a blue post that this year the Brewfest will have like a uh, level 70 rewards. With one exception, achievements will credit, will be granted by it. So you can start to do your achievement called Long Strange Trip. Corrin is technically level 73. So um, yes, we're not going to get uh, the trinkets and I think it's fair. I mean, it's a, a fresh um, server. You cannot get 41 badge trinket in one day just because you got there first. That's just me, maybe. Moving on from the Brewfest event, we're going to have the September 26th Wrath of the Lich King Classic launch uh, at 3 p.m., which is going to be a global launch, which I have seen earlier. I don't think the there's going to be a global launch for um, the pre-patch. I think uh, North America is going to get it faster, but uh, we'll have to look uh, further into this. And October 4 and October 5, Arena Season 5 will begin. So... After the launch, you're going to have about from 26 to 4, a week, a week and a couple of days to be able to level your character to 80 to start pumping on Arena. Or in October 6, the Naxxramas, Eye of Eternity and the Obsidian Sanctum raids will be available at 3 p.m. PDT. Uh, so uh, if you want to be the first one to raid, of course, you're going to have probably the whole week to finish Naxxramas. The raids are re relatively easy. So um, yeah, I think uh, you cannot just tom to content because people were afraid that uh, they would go into dungeons and solo level fast like the mages and uh, i don't know paladins into karazhan then they would be able to clear naxxramas and steal one raid id uh getting them ahead from other people no one week and a half it's going to be um until the raids will be released i think which is great Another thing that is really huge is that Arena Season 4 ends in 29th of August and with the launch of Free Patch on August 30, all the Arena points will be converted into Honor points. That means that Blizzard has decided to put the Season 4 gear to be available to purchase through 
honor at the honor vendors that's huge it means a two-hander that's equivalent with sunwell gear or uh, main hands whatever rogue weapon swords and so on it's gonna be huge the message is good luck fighting to the finish and uh, hopefully we can get a bunch of honor you can start farming it now i think the reason why blizzard is doing this is to uh, keep people from uh, saving up to 75k thousand honor points for wrath of the lich king uh, you can still level without the weapons, however, it would make your journey quite easier. So, it's up to you. Uh, this is it, guys. I think uh, we covered everything that uh, is going to happen or everything that um, we've been informed that is going to happen last night. I'm uh, hyped for pre-patch. I've been leveling a lot of characters lately. I leveled a new mage, a new paladin, and they're already geared with tier 6 uh, material. I leveled a new rogue to level 60. Now I'm leveling a warlock. And I think in pre-patch I'm going to play on one of the fresh servers, one hunter, and one more warlock. It doesn't even matter. Let me know what your plans are for pre-patch for Wrath of the Lich King. Let me know down in the comments down below. With that being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. And until next time, um, stay frosty. Bye-bye.